Hey guys, look at this. Hey, well. Have you ever wanted to make a prologue motion with a character? So join me and watch this tutorial till the end. Each prologue motion has eight step. Step one, brand research. Step two, seeing good animations of other. To reimagination of ideas you may have no idea at first. Drawing good ideas on paper. Like a story more. Right. Vector rise, animate, sound and music, and over. Let's go on. What did I do? I searched in the internet and saw cartoony logos and choose Lego logo. This is despite the fact that I didn't even have a logo. I understand that Lego is a Danish company and Lego in Danish the abbreviation Legat means to play well in an order logo motion that you don't want to use free templates because it's specific to the brand we must show the identity of a brand and need an idea well i said idea how to get an idea first we collect information about customers of that brand the most used colors, brand purpose, the feel of activity of the brand, and finally, a start brainstorm. At this point, we write all the words, terms, and elements, even silly ideas on paper, and try to create a connection between them like a tic tac toe game. I understand that the goal of the LEGO brand is to create a happy and healthy play experience for everyone, especially children. So I shoot to show the game in logo motion, and finally, I showed the game in letters, colors, and character. I combined the Kako character with the form of LEGO toys and pull out the form of the mouth from the animations of LEGO. Then I saw some good logo motion on Pinterest, YouTube, and Instagram. As a rule of thumb, this step helps you better perform. After reaching a general idea, the details should be determined. How to animate text, character movement, colors, how to enter character or object, and it is. Now, you have to depict the idea and draw a storyboard for it so that both you and client have a close understanding of the result and the correction happens at the storyboard, not, not after, after the animate. We have reached the fifth step, vectorize. By using After Effects and the pen tool, I vectorize the Lego logo. Then I give them a black stroke and take duplicate to separate the strokes and letters. Finally, I put the stroke under the letters and parent them. I draw around the Lego with pen, fill empty, and stroke yellow. Didididim is the result. And now is turn off the cuckoo. Of course, you can do it for your character. I worked rising Illustrator, but it's possible in After Effects too. Okay, character done. But... And... So now let's animating. We gonna create a background. Then make an alt. Rename to Lego. Parent all the letters to it. Except the strokes and background. Now keep framing a scale L, 0, 126, 84, 100. Select all the keys, press F9.
select and copy keys paste three frame later for all letters very well open the yellow stroke from add select trim pass open keep framing and 0 to 100 now give a scale to the lego now Oh, no well. So keep framing a stroke with year 142 and repeat the first. Then keep ring the scale stroke, no change, 90, 100. It's better now. Now I want for a square get out of the Lego like a tunnel. So draw a yellow square by shape tool. Control Alt Home. Rename. Keep framing a scale. First zero, then entire frame. Duplicate. Move forward to frame. Change color to red. Duplicate. And repeat. Well done. Character. Import the character. Composition, layer size, okay. Nani? Are you kidding me? Is this your mouth? It's my past, that's my future. Oh, okay, keep going. Place the character under the letters. Go in, select all layers, right click, create. Wake tries. Shy Illustrator layers. Make a new node. Parent all the layer to the node. Move it to the middle and enlarge. Go back, put it in a good place. Place the anchor point at the bottom. Mask by pen. Framing a scale and rotation. Then rotate. Trim the layer. Look 
grades. Sunglasses. Go into the character comp, sort the layers by name and color. I parent the details on some glass to move together. Hide the layers that I don't need now, then animate. First sunglasses is up, then comes down, so keep framing here. Separate. Then goes up. Look at here. A shadow of sunglasses can be seen between the hair on Momo. So I give opacity to only seen on the face. 100. 0. Change Y position graph. Great. For Gleam. Two light reflex are enough. Delete another. Pre comp. Name Gleam. Go in and parent it to the side reflect layer. Bigger. Duplicate reflexes and height. Then bigger, bigger, bigger. No, 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 wait. Bring them closer. Good. Keyframe in position and a scale from left to the right. Increase a scale. Duplicate again. Take it forward a bit, then unhide. Right click, separate position. From left to the middle. Change a speed, Y pose with graph, small surge and done. Go back to the character comp. Parent Grim to the sunglasses. Decrease the scale. Mask it. Twenty two frames forward to a start later. Tip When after selecting the layer, After Effects doesn't show you the layer, just select the layer and click on it with the pen tool. Then press Ctrl Z. Problem solved. Duplicate. Cool. For
or headband, I mask it in three separate parts. I will start with you. Duplicate, change points, Duplicate, open layer from mask, select subtract. Select head one. Now give puppet one, two, three. From window, add AFP hair rig, change name to head one. Okay. Close hair rig, go to the effect control, set this setting. Select master layer and add this setting. We need to correct the point mask. Do the same for this puppet. Rig, rename, change setting. Nice job! In fact, this script is made for hair. But I think it has many uses and now I really want to use this script for hair. Select puppet tool, one, two, three. Hair rig, okay. Change setting. Well, hand. I don't want to read the hand. So animate it by rotation and anchor point. First of all, modify the hand stroke. Duplicate the arm and put it under the elbow. Top layer stroke 0. And increase the bottom layer stroke. Then parent them. Rest to elbow. Elbow to arm, arm is screw to arm through. Put the anchor point in the joints. Now we can animate the hand just by rotation. to 90 and elbow to 129 select all press F9 modify the graph And it's the result. The next step is to make the Lego cube. Draw a lemon square.
free camp. Go in. Set 3D. Open layer. Open geometry. Increase extrusion depth. Set orientation 0. Then draw a small square on it to read the increase geometry. Parent to the large cube, then rotate. Move it forward in a Z axis. Orientation 0. Set 3 more. Go to the character comp. Shrink the cube comp. In a good position. And parent to the wrist. When the hand is raised, the cube appears and moves. Back to the cube comp, keyframing the scale. position down repeat the first frame select all rest of 9 then press alt and click on watch pulse type loop out this is it we have reached the attractive parts of this tutorial sound first I recorded the desired dialogue several times and I always record my voice with my phone. Now, let's go to the windows.com. You can record and upload the dialogue or type it with a limit of 3 minutes and about 3 characters. My suggestion is to upload your voice because AI robots give a little feeling to the type word. It has different characters but me choose Eminem, Yasashi Danse to Kuru no Danse. I don't want to say that I'm learning Japanese now. Nani? Now change. Then login and download. Import the sound to the After Effects. Cut the best voice and I put it at the time when I want the character to speak. Mouse. I don't want to read the mouse. If you want to learn how to read the mouse, see the tutorial above. First, we need to imagine the forms of the mouse when speaking the words. I often take reference from myself or use other reference or say that the dialogue is slowly and exaggeratingly in front of the mirror, like Disney animators. I play it several times and listen carefully. Okay, well. Then make markers for the letter that can be written on the markers.
The next step is to keyframing path lip. Feel empty. In three point, the letter is the same. First, Taco smiles. Then, play Y. And at the end, he smiles again. Play well. The next letter is P, that the lips are closed. Look, we want surface, so open a stroke. So like round cap, round joint. In letter A, the mouth is wide open. Next, A. Repeat and copy paste. W seems to be beating his lips and at two points with pen. Now, we should to improve movements according to the intensity and duration of saying the letters. Play. P takes more time to say than other letters and pronounce strongly. So I repeat keyframe P and let it to be seen more. If necessary, according to the voice, do the same for the other letter. C. Play well. We did it. After make sure of the animate lips, Mask the parts of the mouse to the lip, duplicate, add fill, and stroke zero. Duplicate, and put it above the mouse parts. Set on alpha mat. Again. Well. To animate the parts inside the mouth, just keep framing the position. According to the repeated keyframe of the lips in some letters. All keys, press F9, and it's the result. Play well. I'm proud of you. Music. For music, you can cut or mix a part of the songs. Or sounds effect like... <laughs> I love them. I use the end of the confident chord music for this logo motion. Import music to the After Effects and cut the desired part according to the piece of the music. Play well. Play well. Well, here, then character goes down. 
keyframing mask pass I want it to gather energy like a coal in the middle. And goes up. Graffiti tour. Quick start, very slow middle, and a slow end. I want the hand to be close his body when it goes down. So rotate the arm. Then animate the hair at the beginning and the end. Back, fine hair, at bend in effect. Put the start point at the bottom and the end point at the above. Back to the main comp, find a start point. Framing band Change graph At the end, with our movement, the hair goes in the opposite direction. All that remains is through LEGO cubes. I use the cube that I made it earlier. In the project panel, get a duplicate of the cube and bring it to the main comp. Go in, delete keys, put it under the LEGO type. Separate. Well. Give position. Here. Through up. And fall out. Change graph.
duplicate right click transfer flip horizontal then change positions Duplicate again, change color by hue saturation. Then change position. Play well. Again, okay. See. Play well. Congratulations. This tutorial is my longest tutorial that I spent about 30 days to make it. So if you like this tutorial and want more of this tutorial, comment me. Your comments are valuable for me. Good luck guys.